Well, it's Josh Nichols now. He's tracking the timing of this major storm system. Josh. Yeah, and the lake effect snow band that caused that thunder snow that we saw around four o'clock. It is now settling to the south, but super Doppler indicating still some lightning strikes here just south of the city. Again, that powerful band is drifting into the south towns, into the Boston Hills, and will continue to do so here over the next couple of hours. It's remarkable uh, one minute to the next how variable the conditions can be just before that thunder snow took place about 20 minutes prior the visibility was not that bad and then just within seconds it dramatically dropped and we had a extreme snowfall rates again the thunder the lightning that represents the potency of this lake effect snow band which is now really starting to as i said target the south towns areas into eastern erie county also genesee county parts of wyoming county and what's going to happen with this band is if you ever take a hose and go like that and it ripples across that's what's going to be happening with this lake effect snow band. So it will be shifting south to north, north to south. Right now it's drifting south, but overnight I think it will drift back to the north into Metro Buffalo. And when you wake up tomorrow morning in Buffalo, I think there will be several inches of snow. That is live radar again showing you from Hamburg to Aurora to Sheldon. We're getting in on some heavy snow right now, one inch plus snowfall rates. And of course, all of this being driven by some very high winds. Every Everywhere that you see here in that magenta pink color under a winter storm warning and of course for good reason because we're going to be dealing with this lake effect snow ban for quite some time all the way into Monday at least into the morning and high wind warnings can continue until about the wee hours of your Sunday morning. Two feet in the most persistent lake snow bands. By the way, every dot that you see here on the map represents a storm report. Multiple trees down in the city of Buffalo because of the persistence of these 50 mile per hour wind gusts. We logged a peak wind gust to 66 miles per hour uh, earlier this afternoon. The gust at the falls up around 64 miles per hour. And uh, as we go through the night tonight, we are not out of the windy woods just yet, not by any stretch. The winds aren't going to really die down. And by die down, I mean go below 45 miles per hour. So more 50 mile per hour gusts in conjunction with lake snow means whiteouts. The worst of the winds through late tonight. Again, in the most persistent bands, especially south and also even to the north of Buffalo for a while, we could see upwards of two feet in a few select spots. And everyone is shivering if they are not shoveling. Right now, 29 degrees, some breaks in the clouds. Clouds. That's the nature of lake effect is the haves and the have nots right now. Not so much in the way of snow, but all of us again shivering in a big way and still getting in on some gusts up around 40, 50 miles per hour, especially around Dunkirk. So we're not out of the wintry woods just yet. We'll let you know uh, when things start to calm down a little bit more in the Super 7 day forecast in just a bit.